Hey guys, welcome to Data Trek, your one stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will look at how eBay created a language model with 3 billion item titles. Yes, 3 billion item titles, that's the scale of eBay. And we will look at how eBay used some clever and cool tricks like first, training a language model from scratch. Second, using knowledge distillation to make that large language model small for online inferencing. Third, how to fine tune that model for task specific use case. And fourth, how to make the output of the model available in the cache of their machine learning platform for um, serving. And uh, doing all of this, how they got state of art results with 3.5% increase in the purchase order rate and as well as enhanced user uh, experience. So with that, let's deep dive into it. This is the blog link which I will add in the description section that will go through in details. This is the eBay's blog where they have beautifully described the problem statements and also stated what are the clever and cool tricks they have used to optimize uh, to get state of art results. So first of all, the eBay defines different stages of customer journey. They define the lower funnel as uh, the part where customer clicks on a product and is shows interest. Now it's the responsibility of an e-commerce website to get that click converted into a buy or order. And there are various modules which tries to enable it and the first or most foremost model is similar sponsored item where given a item which was clicked by the user here all the items which are similar to that item seed item and as well as our sponsored items are shown in the recommendation and this recommendation serves the purpose both of user as well as platform. How is that? Because these sponsored items are very similar to the seed item, user may buy, end up buying any one of them, so user experience is met. And secondly, since these are sponsored items, if the user buys these items, since these are sponsored items, which means those are on advertisements, the platform will get the advertised money. Now to make this uh, very good, that is to make these recommendations of high quality, eBay has used their anchor model. So eBay has used the ranker model and it has shown that it is it has increased the buying rate and all of those things and this ranker model takes bunch of features and one such feature is the semantic similarity between the item click that is the seed item and the uh, child item right and to find this semantic similarity they have used bidirectional encoder representation from transformer that is the BERT model. So we apply these embeddings to generate a distance score between items to use it as a feature in our ranker. And uh, further, so till now what we have seen, uh, user clicks on a seed item, shows interest and in the similar sponsor item list, we show similar items to the seed item. And there is a ranker which will rank these items, the child items in a spon similar sponsored module. And the ranker takes a lot of features and one such feature is semantic similarity between the seed item and the child item and to find this similar semantic similarity between child item and seed item they have used bird model now let's move to the next step now they have explained the ranker in further details that the ranker any recommendation ranker consists of three stages and for them also these are the three stages first is the retrieval layer where the recall set is tried to be uh, maximized what does that mean that all the items similar to the seed items will be fetched. That is the retrieval. Second is ranker will rank them in terms of uh, some uh, north star metric which could be like let's say uh, click through rate. They want to increase the click through rate then by the highest probability of click or it could be conversion but in terms of highest uh, probability of conversion. So the ranker will try to rank these items in uh, in the order of the end goal they want, whether they want conversion or clicks or whatever. So ranker will try to rank the retrieved items. And third layer is again a re-ranker to add some component of the supplier add rate. That is supplier may be willing to give some CPC. It can be click through date or on view or order whatever be the uh, mechanism of eBay for charging to sellers. They will try to add that as well. So basically there will be a goodness from ranker and goodness from the money seller is willing to pay those will be combined to do a re-ranking and finally we will see the similar sponsored module. So this is how the ranker works. Now they have talked about the features that ranker uses. The ranker uses items historical data, it uses item to seed item similarity that I was talking about and also it uses context that which place the user is at and which uh, place the supplier 
supplies from so that to see uh, early delivery and all those kind of things and also some user personalized features. So basically this similar item module is a personalized feature for different users the similar uh, item recommendations may differ. Now out of all these features the second one if you see recommended item to seat item similarity that is how is this the semantic similarity between the seed item clicked and the sponsored item that is also a feature and they have uh, here revealed that the trainer that the ranker model is a gradient boosted tree model it's a GPT model and it takes many features as well as some deep learning based features as well which is the second one deep learning based features in the item to item simi uh, similarity category have resulted in significant uplifting to model performance now they have talked about that in more details that is whenever a new ranker is trained let's say they train a version 2 of GPT how is that version 2 doing it can be um, evaluated in two criteria is what they have revealed one is how much the gains have been in the classification matrix or the evaluation matrix if their evaluation is let's say order rate or click rate how much better the model is able to predict that the ML metric and second is they also look at the relative contribution of the feature which feature is coming out to be an important feature the important feature will have higher gain and it's found that uh, the uh, the similarity between seed item and uh, child item comes out to be the most important or influencer features one of the most influence influencer feature set in our recommendation ranking model pertains to the degree of similarity between the I title of the item currently being viewed by the buyer and the candidate item for recommendation so that item similarity item semantic similarity is very important and they have now talked about their previous ways of calculating that semantic similarity they have used uh, or they are just comparing what are the other ways one is doing a tf idf kind of thing term frequency inverse document frequency which also helps in generating a vector for the uh, item uh, which we can call as item embedding also they can we can use jacquard similarity which is how many words are common between the two items divided by total number of distinct words something of those kinds but they have told that there is basic limitations in using tf id of jacquard similarity the reason being those are bag of word approaches they don't understand the context and also they suck in handling synonyms for example color red red and crimson those are very similar color or almost the same color one variant of red is called crimson right but in bag of word kind of approaches, those will be considered as two distinct words with, with zero similarity. While if we have something deeper, uh, a model which understands the language deeply, we'll be able to understand that red and crimson are, are actually sim same thing. So that is what they have explained here that term TF-IDF and Jacquard similarity have limitations in handling synonyms like red and crimson. And as well as they becomes, uh, they, their performance degrades when the item description uh, word number of words increases the length of item description increases and as well as as i was saying these are bag of word approach they don't understand the language or context in details so what can be done most of the companies what they do in this kind of things is they use a pre-trained bird model or sentence transformer because a bird model has deeper understanding of the context because of the way it's trained it is trained on uh, mass language modeling, next sentence prediction on huge Wikipedia text and also BERT understands the language pretty well. So what you can do is you can simply pass this title description through a BERT model and get the embeddings without any training. You can use a pre-trained BERT model. Right. And I, uh, so this is what I have uh, mentioned here that BERT is trained on mass language modeling and next sentence prediction. So it's very good in understanding the context and I have a detailed video on word where I have used the same thing how to use title descriptions to get uh, embeddings from a pre-trained word model. So I will add the link of that video also in the description section. So now what uh, eBay has done they have told that word or kind of models are pretty good for their context because it understand the language and context and they have given the example that uh, the word server, the server crashed versus can you ask the server for the bill, the meaning of server differs in both the sentences and bird kind of models are able to capture it and also the synonyms red and crimson color they are actually the same thing, those are colors, a bird model is able to capture it because bird is trained on Wikipedia and Toronto book Corpora. But what thing they have told is there is still room for improvement in applying bird to eBay's task. The reason being eBay has little bit different kind of uh, language which is it's the language of product all the product title description is the eBay's language which may differ from the uh, Wikipedia corpus so what they did was they trained a BERT model from scratch on eBay's corpora 
and this ebase corpora consists of 250 million sentences from wikipedia they have still used wikipedia data and 3 billion ebay titles in english german french and italian and spanish languages and they have seen that this ebird uh, which they are going uh, so they are calling this version of bird trained on ebase data ebase uh, context ebird ebase bird ebird this model significantly outperforms bird model and the f1 score is 88.9 compared to robertas 84.5 from so if we use a pre trained model the uh, f1 is 84.5 while we use this uh, trained from scratch on ebay's data model the f1 score is 88.9 which is around 56% gain so this is the first thing they have done they have trained a bird model from scratch on uh, ebay's con language context which is uh, some wikipedia data and all 3 billion item descriptions now the, the first stage is complete they have they have trained the model on ebay's uh, context now the next thing that ebay has revealed is but architecture is too heavy for applications that requires uh, high throughput inference because we need to infer the embeddings of almost 3 billion items and doing that with 540 million uh, parameters bird model is difficult right it will the latency is too high and model won't be able to uh, serve this recommendations in allocated time which is in real time so to address this issues ebay trained a smaller version of bird model they called it micro bird using a technique called knowledge distillation i have a video coming on knowledge distillation as well where we will train a large model and then make it smaller using knowledge distillation so what happens in knowledge distillation is a large model is used as a teacher to teach a smaller model which is called a student model and they have used this technique to make that large ebird model to micro bird model this so this is the second clever trick they have used on top of uh, training a uh, bird model on ebay's context now the third clever trick they have used is fine tuning this micro bird so the micro bird can directly be used for uh, generating the embeddings right but what they have done is they have further fine tuned it for task specific use case which is similar item prediction so here what they have done they have taken a micro uh, micro bird model and used contrastive loss function to train the model so how they have done is they have taken two item description and uh, they have created a training data so for training data Uh, what will be needed is two similar items, and uh, those can those can go as an input, and class label can be used to predict whether they are similar or not. Right? Yeah. Actually, I have covered all these things in the my bird training. Uh, you can go through that video as well. But uh, briefly explaining how it works is: this is the bird architecture, right? We can pass two sentences. So in this context, we can pass the two item. Uh, descriptions in this case we can pass the two item description item 1 item 2 and if they are similar we want the class label to be 1 if they are dissimilar we would want the class label to be 0 right so in this way the uh, in this way they have used this clever technique to further fine tune the uh, micro bird to a specific use case which is similar item prediction and how they have created a data set that two items are similar and two are not similar the manual labeling could have been one uh, way but that is very um, uh, expensive so what they have done they have taken the results of search query whatever whenever a user search something and if two items which are similar the user might click right so the items which were clicked in the same search query as you are used as positive examples and items which were not clicked together or two different type of items can be used as negative example to further fine tune uh, this micro bird to siamis microbird siamis because they are learning the semantic similarity so three tricks they have used first they have trained the bird model from scratch on ebay's data secondly they have used uh, knowledge distillation to make ebird as two microbird a smaller version with uh, almost uh, 95 to 98% accuracy of the teacher model and 300 times faster and thirdly they have fine tuned the microbird model to a siamis microbird which is able to predict the similarity of two items in a better way so which is more fine tuned for similar item use case now finally how they have used this they have just used the item embeddings coming from this siamis micro bird as the uh, first item uh, embedding and similarly for the second item embedding and then taken a cosine similarity so so what they have done is they have just they have just taken the uh, embeddings coming from this siamis micro bird as the final embedding so uh, this is what uh, we can see in the image as well the everything what they have done is they have a bird model they uh, 
pre-trained the BERT model on 250 million Wikipedia sentences and 3 billion eBay titles, which are English, German, French, Italian, and Spanish. Then they make the model, they simplify the model using microbird, which is uh, through the knowledge distillation technique, which uh, uh, is able to capture 95 to 98% goodness and 300 times faster. And finally, they fine tune on co click data that for a search query, the items which will click together are considered as similar and they are fine tuned. The microbird is fine tuned to learn this similarity in a better way. And finally, the embeddings coming from Siamis microbird are used for cosine similarity. So, we leverage the title embedding with friends from Siamis microbird to calculate cosine similarity between items, and this is used as a feature in the ranker model. And this gave an uplift of 3.5% in purchase orders and um, Further, they have also used one more clever trick. So, inferencing real time is a bit challenge. So, what they do is they provide the embeddings of all the items. They quickly infer it and populate in the uh, cache of their machine learning platform for online serving. And as soon as the item expires, they just uh, maybe it's no more in ads or maybe the item stock is over. They will just uh, uh, update the key as expired so it's not taken in the survey. And experiment results, they have evaluated it in two ways. One is the purchase order rate, which is increased by 3.5%. And other is also a visual inspection. So this is a very cool example they have provided. So this is Michael Jordan with a base baseball bat clicked as a seed item. And if we see the similar items, right, all are, um, all are uh, Michael Jordan with basketball, basketball and basketball in the without eBird. If they use simple uh, bird, then all the Michael Jordan with be, uh, basketballs are coming up, but when they use eBird, which is the uh, BERT model trained on eBay's context through Siamese, uh, eBird and MicroBird, they found that the uh, similarity is even better. See, here all three items are Michael Jordan with ba uh, basketball, but actually Michael Jordan was with baseball and the next two items in the eBird one are actually Michael Jordan playing with the baseball bat. So that is what they have said that even though the first item is uh, Michael Jordan with basketball, but the other two items are Michael Jordan with uh, baseball. So they have do they have done this kind of inspection, both visual inspection and A/B test results, which are 3.5% increase in the purchase order rate. So yes, this is the blog from eBay where they have used some really cool uh, and clever tricks to train a large language model with three billion item titles, and they have got state of art results with. 3.5% increase in purchase order rate and also the user experience increased because of better recommendations. Hope you have liked this video and learned a lot from it. Stay tuned for more such updates and please subscribe to the channel. Bye.